All right, so we're headed up to Jacksonville this morning. Uh, headed to the fall RV show up there. It's the first time they've had a fall RV show in Jacksonville, so we're definitely looking to upgrade here in probably um, within the next year or so. So we're kind of starting to do our research now. Um, looking at a fifth wheel, and yeah, we're just trying to figure out which which brand is going to fit our needs best. Uh, do we stay with a toy hauler? Do we go with a bunkhouse? Uh, Grand Design has a new bunkhouse they just introduced here uh, in 2019, 2019 model. So just trying to figure out what's you know what's going to fit best for us, and uh, so we're hoping to see some Grand Designs. Uh, take a look at some other models that we've been interested in, and. Uh, Kind of torn. Airstream makes a uh, makes a nice bunkhouse model as well. I'm not sure if there's going to be any of those there. So uh, we'll see. Stay tuned. I I really want to see a J cut. Like that's the company I'm really excited to see. It. Maybe they have a 2019 model, not too sure. Uh, Toyota, but we all don't know yet. But. I find out today. right about three and a half hours to get here we knew we'd be arriving about lunchtime so we came prepared and packed a lunch and we're getting ready to eat that and speaking of coming prepared we made up these little sheets so that when we're going around checking out some different models we have it pretty much made up where some things we were interested in we can check off if they have it or don't have it and anything extra we want to add making models so when we're going back and trying to remember everything it makes it a little easier so, can't wait to get in there and see what we can see. I'm ready to see some J Guys Grand Designs, maybe some other uh, models, but we're not sure which model we're going to get in the next couple of, of years. Yes, and, the, and we're going to need seats for three people. Alright, this is the Vengeance 348 toy hauler. Uh, we're big fans of toy haulers. We obviously have a small toy hauler travel trailer now and really like the space that the garage gives you. There's a bathroom right off the garage. Then we come into the living area. Really, really nice long couch. Uh, nice counter space. All right, right now we're inside the Coachman Chaparral CHF 360 IBL. It's a mid bunk style. Has a big living space in the rear. A couple of recliners, nice couch, TV, a lot of counter space on the island. Pretty good counter space. Lots of storage. Here's the mid bunk room. Storage up top. Not a bad unit. 
Uh, really like the shower in this one. It's a very large shower. Um, glass doors. And then up in the front bedroom. Got closets on both sides. And we've got washer hookup for a combo unit there in the closet in the master bedroom. So nice unit. Uh, really surprised. Wasn't real sure about the Coachman product, but uh, after taking a walk through this one, uh, we might have to give this one some thought. Very nice unit. All right, now we're inside the Forest River Sabre 36 BHQ. Another really nice unit, mid bunk unit. Go up here and check out the bunk room. We really like the way the mid bunks are laid out. So go toward the front. Got another excellent sleeping or storage space up top. Nice big bathroom. Nice shower. And then the front master bedroom. Big closet, shelving up top and the back, and washer hookup. Another very nice unit. All right, so we just left the Jacksonville Fall RV Show. Uh, a little smaller than what we were anticipating, I guess. You know, when we thought Jacksonville, you know, Jacksonville is such a large city. Uh, so many people in Jacksonville, we kind of figured maybe it would be uh, a little bit bigger than what it was. Uh, they did have some fifth wheels there that we that we got to get inside and have a good look at them. Uh, we saw some units that we actually really liked uh, that weren't on our radar before. So in that aspect, it was good. Um, so still definitely not a waste, but not exactly as some of the units that we were hoping uh, to see while we were there. We're looking forward to going uh, to the RV Super Show in January over at the Florida State Fairgrounds. Um, that one we know is a very, very large show. Uh, it should have everything that we're looking for there. Uh, a lot of travel trailers at this one in Jacksonville. You know, if you were looking for a, uh, to get inside of a travel trailer or something like that, uh, had a lot of those there. Uh, they had a couple of toy haulers. So, all in all, uh, not a waste of a day just not not quite the uh, variety we were, we were hoping to see but uh, not, a, not a bad day regardless so appreciate you guys watching and uh, until next time we'll catch you guys later I think it was a waste of day though it's super hot like the IV was okay but if you're looking for a travel trailer definitely go for travel trailers but it was the first time didn't really know. And I'm probably not going to go to one in January. But yeah. See you guys next time.